Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. Blessed Elena, our founders, of Sisters of Lakes of the Holy Spirit, stated, Every religious must consider herself as a seed of paradise, that God in his infinite wisdom and goodness sowed on earth in some heart, so that it will be fecundated by the values of contradiction and by the celestial fire of the Holy Spirit. Today we celebrate the Feast of Saint Zita, the protector of the congregation. Saint Zita spoke with good example and with fervent prayers. Only God knows to how many souls the charity of this servant has procured eternal salvation. Her charitable solicitude extended even in the temporal needs of her neighbors. As we gather here today to celebrate and witness the first religious profession of Novice Teresa Tran Nguyen Tien Ho from Bac Nong Province, Vietnam, Novice Teresa Ngo Tien Tien from Bac Nong Province, Vietnam, Novice Maria Jean Carlos from Pasay, Darabit, Cebu City, and Novice Maria Nguyen Tifa from Hatin Province, Vietnam. We thank God in a way is that even come close to being worthy of the great gift of the nation. Through the power of the Holy Spirit, God accepts these simple offerings and transforms them with God's grace for the fruitful remote religious. Our presider for this Mass is Reverend Father Michael Ayugan is Bibi. Let us all rise as we begin the Eucharistic celebration and join the choir in singing the procession here. Mm Young women who want to offer 
for himself in the service of the Lord, in the religious missionary life, and the sisters of the race of the Holy Spirit. Let us ask God to bless us, to bless these young women. And so, therefore, as we celebrate the sacred, celebrate the sacred mystery, let us go to mind all our sins and God, beg God's pardon. I confess.
the prayer that we abide in the heart that are pure, grounded through the intercession of the Virgin Saint Zita. We may be so fashioned by your grace that we become a dwelling pleasing to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, lives and reigns with you, David, of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated for the liberty of the Lord. Be holy and with our language before him. 
In love he destined us for adoption to himself, through Jesus Christ. In accord with the favor of his will, for the praise of the glory of his grace, that he granted us in the beloved. In him we have redemption by his blood, the forgiveness of transgressions, in accord with the riches of his grace that he flourished upon us. In all wisdom and insight, he has made known to us the mystery of his will, in accord with his favor, that he set forth in him as a plan for the fullness of things, to sum up all things in heaven and on earth. In him we were also chosen, destined in accord with the purpose of the one who accomplishes all things according to the intention of his will, so that we may receive for the grace of his glory. We who first hope in Christ, in him you are so who have heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, and have believed in him, were sealed with the promised Holy Spirit, which is the first testimony of our inheritance, the world redemption, as God's possession, to the praise of His glory. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please all stand to honor the Holy Gospel. Mm -hmm. According to John. Glory to you, o Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, As the Father loves me, so I also love you. Remain in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and remain in his love. I have told you this so that my joy may be in you and your joy might be complete. This is my commandment. Love one another as I love you. No one has greater love than this to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. I no longer call you slaves, because a slave does not know what his master is doing. I have called you friends, because I have told you everything I have heard from my father. It was not you who chose me, but I who chose you and appointed you to go and bear fruit that will remain. So that whatever you ask the Father in my name, he may give you. This I command you, love one another. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Please all be seated. First temporary profession, then of his mistress will call the names of the candidates. Home, Lord, here I am. 
Veni Sancte Spiritu. Thank you for inviting me to preside over your first professional vows. Certainly it was not, it was through Sister Evelyn who persuaded me to be your re celebrant. But did you know that there is a connection between your congregation and the SVD? One of the connections is the strong devotion of your founders to the Holy Spirit. Our founder, Arnold Jensen, had a very strong devotion to the Holy Spirit. In fact, he named two congregations of sisters he founded in honor of the Holy Spirit. Your founders, Blessed Elena Guerra, also corresponded with Arnold Johnson regarding a militia of the Holy Spirit to be dedicated against Freemasonry. My dear sisters and brothers, that is the connection between the Sisters of Lakes of the Holy Spirit and the SVP. My connection with your foundress is her being a history teacher. As you can see, I teach history. So your foundress taught history. We shall witness today the profession of first vows of these young candidates, Jean, Harto, and Dee, who in the near future will ask to be full-fledged members of the Sisters of Lakes of the Holy Spirit. Dear sisters, please listen to me very well. You are about to profess your first vows. After you have been well informed about this congregation, I hope that the novice mistress made you understand fully well what religious life is and what they demand from you. Right knowledge and understanding of what you are about to take upon yourself, especially today, will determine how you will respond to the rigors 
of formation. Dear sisters, you have chosen a specific path of Christian discipleship, a path which involves celebrate chastity, communal poverty, and apostolic obedience. In choosing this path, reinforced by your profession of the vows, you leave behind other options. This path you have chosen is unusual. Many call it strange because it is not something of the ordinary. It is also counter-cultural. While some young women of your age aspire to have a successful career, to accumulate wealth, to be married and have children, you actually renounce all these things. While others see life's fulfillment in marriage and having children, you will have to remain single all your life with no offspring to look after you when you grow old. Remember that. While others compete to be in a position of authority to give orders, you will have to obey the orders of your superior unless you are the superior. But even then, you still have your general superior. And even the general superior still has the Pope. <laughs> the life you are choosing is regimented. That is why you have schedules. You cannot just eat on a specific you have you have to eat on a specific time and go to mass at a specific time. Discipline and detached from many things. You will be living in a community, and the fact is that you will not be given the liberty or freedom to choose whom you will live with. As you can see, all of you come from different cultural backgrounds. Besides, your community is also international. In fact, you have three Vietnamese and one Filipino in this profession of ours. You will live among sisters of different personalities and character. Such environment is necessary because your initial formation is a preparation for your life and mission. Your vocation is not a path by which you seek personal fulfillment, but rather a path you set off in order to live the gospel radically and to follow Christ more intimately in a community. While it is your free choice, and I hope that it is your free choice, it is also true that this is not just your choice. Jesus reminds us in John's Gospel, Today, it was not you who chose me, but I who chose you and appointed you to go and bear fruit. It is God's initiative, you respond. Once you profess the first vows, you will be given the opportunity to see whether it is not just your choice, but it is also God's choice. But let us be clear about one thing, dear sisters. The sisters of Lakes of the Holy Spirit invite you, but the superiors of this congregation do not in any way force you to join them. I hope that the superiors, such as the, the novice mistress, did not force the these novices. Because that is important. It should be free, we, it, it, there should be free choice and free will. You, on your own free will, ask the congregation the possibility of becoming a member. So what are the implications of this? That there are things you will have to give up in consideration of the other members of the community. Because you ask to join, so you cannot choose. You may be asked to do something for the greater interest and need of the congregation, 
And what is asked of you is openness and willingness as an act of surrender to God's will. You may not demand what you want and even dictate how you want to be formed as an OSS. It means entrusting yourself in the hands of your formator and the formation program designed to deepen your faithfulness to the vows and your commitment to the Lord in the congregation. Otherwise, if you do not believe in your formators, you'll be the formator yourself. It means being open to them, being open to your formator, and giving them the trust as you journey with them, so that you will be able to come to a final decision that this is where your heart is, this is God's will for you, and that the congregation is happy and looks forward with eagerness for you to become part of it. The congregation should be happy that you become part of the congregation. That is also important. How, how will you discern that it is also God's choice for you? These are the indicators that you feel at home and happy and that the community is also happy with your presence. So that means you're not the one, only one who is happy. It should also be that the congregation and the community should also be happy with your presence. The community would not like to see you unhappy, brooding, dragging your feet to go to Mass, to do your house chores, to attend the conferences, complaining just about everything and make life burdensome for you. It is good if it's only you, but how about the others in the community? By your profession of vows, you will put on a new identity. You are not just a Christian by virtue of your baptism, you will, but you will also be a religious by virtue of your profession. That identity means that you share in the vision and mission of your foundress, Blessed Elena, which means that you should know her and you identify with her and have a connection with her. That new identity also means that you behave, think, and act as an oblate of the Holy Spirit. Whatever you say or do should reflect the OSS in you. It should not be that when they see you, you are now a Dominican or a Benedictine or a Clarissa. They should really see that you are an oblate of the Holy Spirit. The vow of chastity frees you to give yourselves in total in love, totally to Christ and is marked by a lively disposition and a spirit of joy. A professed OSS is a happy OSS. And when people see that you exude an aura of joy, that persona will draw them to Christ. In order to grow into a deeper spirit of self-giving, poverty calls you to constantly be persons who share who work together, who encourage and sustain one another to carry the yoke of Christ, especially in difficult times. The vow of obedience frees you to do the will of God as expressed by your superiors. Religious life is witnessing. You can become true witnesses if you heed what the Lord said in today's gospel to remain in his love. And as a community in vows, the Lord enjoins you to love one another. As Pope Benedict reminds us, for consecrated religious, the greatest gift we can give to the world is to be so in love with God that we become witnesses of that love to those with whom we live and to those whom we serve. 
Dear sister, there's a still a very long way to go, but I tell you, it will be just like yesterday. You may not know it, but your formation will be over, and then you will now have your final professional vows. So during these years of formation, keep the fire burning in your hearts, especially when you feel overwhelmed by the many demands of formation, and you feel confused, and even the well where you have drawn your strength runs dry. Let us learn from the words of the Lord, I am the vine and you are the branches. Let us be attached to the vine. For if the branch does not receive sustenance from the main trunk, the branch withers and dies. That is why the Lord reminds us to remain in his love. For with his love, the well will never run dry and the branch will never wither and die. Make this first professional vows your first and final vow. For your first and final profession. Live as it were that you are in final vows. For if you still think that you are still trying to experiment, things will be over. But if you think that at this very moment you have already given yourself to the Lord, that is the profession of God. Congratulations. Wala na bang other some are still in doubt, the four of you? You still have time. You still have time to have still doubt. So if there is none, let us now proceed with the celebration. When we just stand up, the assembly remains seated. Examination of candidates for the temporary profession. Before I proceed, please answer loudly and with full conviction so that the others will hear what you are saying. My dear sisters, through baptism you already you are already dead to sin and consecrated to the Lord. Are you resolved to unite yourself more closely to Him by the bond of religious profession? I am so resolved. In your desire to follow Christ perfectly, are you resolved to live in chastity for the sake of the kingdom of heaven, to embrace a life of voluntary poverty, and to offer your sacrifice of obedience? I am sorry, sir. May the Almighty God grant you His grace to fulfill what you have resolved. Amen. Renovative new influence of the celebration. Let us pray. Look upon these servants of yours who resolve to dedicate their life to you by making the profession of the evangelical council in the presence of your church today. Mercifully grant that their manner of life may bring glory to your name and further your loving plan of redemption. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Because of their likeness to Christ, full of the Holy Spirit, the embrace do not enclose themselves in an isolated spiritual life, but open themselves to the service of the only dead Christ. Temporary perfection. The candidates will now make their perfection. Now, two professed sisters approach the altar to act as witnesses. The candidates come forward one at a time, 
it renders the formula of perfection before the superior and signs it on the altar. The superior in the name of the church accepts the vows and declares the newly professed sisters legitimate members of the congregation of the Sisters of Lace of the Holy Spirit. I, Novice Teresa Calimentino, deciding to follow the Lord Jesus through the profession of the Evangelical Gospel in your conscience, mightily relaxing of contact of the Holy Spirit, proving such superior, consecrating myself to God. By the vows of chastity, poverty, and obedience, for one year. According to the constitutions of the Institute, as an athlete of the Holy Spirit in the church, my living in church, in docility to grace, and in personal communion, the spirit ministers of Elena Guerra. By the power vested on me by Mother General, Mother Maria Laura Patrini of the Holy Spirit, I accept your profession of vows and hereby declare you ascribe to our congregation, the Sisters of Lakes of the Holy Spirit, for one year. May the Holy Spirit guide you in your journey towards fidelity to Christ. After the acceptance, the newly professed sisters will sign the document of profession on the altar. I know this Teresa Mati and you, deciding to follow the Lord Jesus to the professions of the Evangelical Council in the oppression, now the Divisation of the Father and the Holy Spirit, so we shall be here, consecrate myself to God. By the vows of chastity, poverty, and obedience for one year, according to the to the constitutions of the institutes, as an object of the Holy Spirit in the church, by living in faith, in docility to grace, and in personal communion, the sweet promises of every power. By the power vested on me by Mother General, Mother Maria Laura Patrini of the Holy Spirit, I accept your professional vows. I hereby declare you as Christ to our congregation, Sisters of Place of the Holy Spirit, for one year. May the Holy Spirit guide you in your journey towards the reality of Christ. I, Novice Maria Jean Paros, desiring to follow the Lord Jesus, through the profession of the Evangelical Councils in your presence, Mother be the blessing of Trump of the Holy Spirit, Provincial Superior, consecrate myself to God. By the vows of chastity, poverty, and obedience for one year, according to the constitutions of the Institute as an oblate of the Holy Spirit in the Church, while living in faith, in the selective the grace and in fraternal communion, the spiritual message of Elena Guerra. By the power vested in me by Mother General, Mother Maria Laura Patrini of the Holy Spirit, I accept your profession of vows and hereby declare you as tribe to our congregation. Sisters of Grace of the Holy Spirit for one year. May the Holy Spirit guide you in your journey towards fidelity to Christ. I know this my deciding to follow the Lord Jesus to the profession of the evangelical councils in your presence. Mother Lily Bessima Franca of the Holy Spirit, Provincial Superior, consecrate myself to God. By the vows of chastity, poverty, and obedience for one year, 
according to the Constitution of the Institute as an oblate of the Holy Spirit in the Church by living in faith, in docility to grace, and in fraternal communion, the spiritual message of Eleanor Weller. By the power vested in me by Mother General Mother Maria Laura Quattrini of the Holy Spirit, I accept the profession of vows and hereby declare you as Christ to our congregation, sisters of place of the Holy Spirit, for one year. May the Holy Spirit guide you in your journey towards fidelity to Christ. After signing the Relaganir in front of the Celebon, blessing and presentation of the insignia of religious profession. Blessing of the religious habit and positive. Let us pray. God, by his words all things are made holy. Pour down your blessings on these religious habits. Grant that whoever giving thanks to you, wear them with reverence to these habits and crucifixes. Grant that whoever give thanks to you, wear them with reverence in accordance with your law and your will. May by calling upon your name, Receive health of body and obtain grace in this present life through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessing of the Constitutions. Let us pray. O oh God, you have built the birth of this congregation of the church and have guided it in its missionary apostolic endeavor. Bless these constitutions as a legacy from its blessed founder, Selena Guerra. May this book be a source of light to those who will study and read it. This we ask you through Christ our Lord. Amen. religious habit that you will wear with simple dignity. It is an ornament of Christian modesty. It is a sign of your consecration to God and your constant reminder of the need for irreproachable conduct.
receive the rule of life of this religious congregation and show in your life what you have faithfully done. Amen. Amen. Receive the rule of life of this religious congregation and show in your life what you have faithfully done. Amen. Receive the rule of life of this religious congregation and show in your life that we are faithfully there. Gracias, Dios, por su Receive the crucifix, dear sister, and be sub subject to Christ our Lord and live the life you have voluntarily. Receive the crucifix, dear sister, and be subjected to Christ our Lord, and live the life you have voluntarily. Receive the crucifix, dear sister, and be subjected to Christ, our Lord and be the life, we have voluntarily and receive the crucifix, dear sister, and be subjected to Christ, our Lord, and live the life we have voluntarily and Receive the Let us now welcome our newly professed sisters by giving them a round of applause. Please all stand for the prayers of the faithful. Dear friends, you are celebrating the pastoral mystery of Christ with the religious profession of our sisters. Let us offer our prayers to God Almighty Father through Jesus Christ the inspiration of religious life. In every petition we shall say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For our Holy Father, Pope Francis, for all the bishops and all priests, that the Holy Spirit, who filled the apostles, may unceasingly pour out His grace upon their successors. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our Holy Mother Church, that through the abiding presence of the Holy Spirit, may she bring light, hope, and peace to all, and ever more brightly shine for Christ her spouse. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For the government leaders of all nations, may they be enlightened in their responsibility and work, and be motivated by the spirit of love and their concern for the good, justice, and unity of all. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all our poor brothers and sisters, the sick, the old, the dying, and all those who are suffering, may they receive strength in their faith and assistance in all their needs. And may they always experience God's loving presence amidst pains and difficulties. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our dead parents, 
brothers and sisters, relatives, friends, and benefactors. May they experience God's bountiful blessings and eternal reward for all their goodness and generosity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Sister Maria Jean, Sister Maria Ha, Sister Teresa Tho, and Sister Teresa Dean, who today profess their dedication to God, may the Lord enkindle in the hearts an ardent love for Christ, filled with the Spirit, following His intimate filial love to the Father, and selfless service in the Church and in the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For their parents, brothers and sisters, relatives, friends, and benefactors, that our Lord will continue to bless them with choices blessings. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us gathered here, that as the infinite love is poured forth into our hearts by the Holy Spirit, May we reflect this love in our daily lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In silence, let us pray for our own intentions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Brother and Father, hear the prayers of your people. In your goodness, you call these servants of yours to follow Christ. Now through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, our Mother in the Church, pour out your Holy Spirit upon them, so that the promise they have made here and now may be confirmed by their unfailing dedication. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please receive them. Grace, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice and the for the grace and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, the oblations and prayers we offer you, as we celebrate the beginnings of religious perfection, and grant that the first fruits of your servants may be transformed by your grace in a plentiful harvest 
through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly really right and just our truth and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. He is the unblemished flower who sprung from the root of the virgin and declared the pure of heart blessed, teaching by his way of life the surpassing birth of chastity. He chose always to hold fast to what is pleasing to him and becoming obedient for our sake even until death. He willingly offered himself to you as a perfect and fragrant sacrifice. He consecrated to a fuller service of your majesty those who, for love of you, leave all earthly things and promise they will find treasure in heaven. And so with the company of angels and saints, as we sing the hymn of your praise, without end we applaud. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the child and once more gave him thanks. He gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the child of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for men, for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of you. The mystery of faith. Apostles, 
Saint Zita, just said Diana, and all the saints who have lived throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and the praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, with the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Let us now pray with confidence for our loving Father, the Word of Jesus.
May the prayer and solemn blessings and the celebration of the first religious profession of the chosen people of God walking towards eternity. This offering will be consummated along the way of every day life. May our union of prayers in this moment, therefore, continue to strengthen them and their daily obligation to the Father through Christ by the power of the Holy Spirit so that the face of the earth may be renewed. Please all stand. Let us pray. May the mysteries we have received fill us with joy, O Lord, and grant that by their power these your servants may faithfully fulfill the duties of the religious life they have with us. And may offer you willing service through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please receive them. Sister Maria Ha OSS will hear the words of gratitude. Very Sunday Spiritus. Blessed Elena Weller, our beloved founder's own state, the hand of God brought you here. Therefore, you ought to consider this community as your own family. Yes, everything is the grace from the Lord. He is the source of all goodness. In behalf of my companions, allow me to express our proud heart and heartfelt kindness to the Lord and you all in this wonderful day. As we all know, the world is now suffering with all kinds of calamity, violence, especially with the COVID-19 pandemic. Everything seems tough. Everyone finds difficult to live day by day. Amidst of this situation, we still have blessings from the Lord which fall upon us. Today is a special day for the four of us, a day of grace. Because of the compassion, love, and mercy of the Lord, we are here in this moment of joy. Let us give thanks to the Lord for all the great blessings He has given to us. We would like to express our gratitude to Father, Reverend Father Michael Lazugan, SVD, Vice Provincial Superior of the Congregation of Society of the Bible, our main celebrant. <laughs> Reverend Father Ilan, SVD, our retreat master for inspiring and helping us. Reverend Father Elmer Flores, SVD, our spiritual father, who accompanied us in our spiritual journey more than two years, but because due to pandemic lockdown, he is not present today. But we would like to express our thankful to him. We thank also a special way to our dear Vietnamese priest, Reverend Father Peter Milvakas, SP. Reverend Father Lam Jason SP. Reverend Father Thomas Yunle and Sean SVD. For helping us in our faith journey, especially through your prayers. 
and other priests, especially Reverend Father John S. Lee. Thank you, Brother Mark S. Lee, for sharing your talent and being part of this celebration through your song. To our dear OSS sisters, Thank you, Mother Lily Sima Franca, OSS, our provincial superior, for accepting and allowing us to experience the life of an oblate of the Holy Spirit, which Blessed Elena Weather founded 139 years ago. Thank you, Sister Amelia, OSS, for being our first formator, first friend. You really made our life in the convent nicer. Thank you for until now still following and helping us. Thank you, Sister Maria Cristina OSS, for being our formator in guiding and helping us to improve and grow in our spiritual life. Thank you for your maternal love and extend until today. Thank you, the our dear formator, Miss Ray, Sister Edita OSS, for being with us a longest time in our formation. Thank you for your patience, your thoughtfulness. Thank you for guiding and willing sacrifice of come to make the path of our life an easier and more beautiful journey. Thank you, Maria. Thank you, Sister Macaria, OSS, and Base Community, together with Brother Zio, for the preparation in this celebration. Thank you to other OSS sisters who has been helping us in one way or the other. Thank to all communities who accepted and helped us to experience and understand the difficult of the different apostolate during our exposure. Thank you to our dear novices for your concern and generosity. Let me also express my gratitude to my dear uncle brother Peter Lipicut Kadoshian congregation. To our friends, we are grateful to those congregations present with us today, especially Society of Divine Work, Servants of the Paraclete, Dominican Sisters, Missionaries of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Canosian Brothers and Fathers. To our sponsors and benefactors, thank you for your support in prayers and your kindness for helping us in our needs. To our beloved families, relatives, and those who are dear to our hearts, we are so grateful to you. Now, allow me to express our, to our parents our gratitude who are living in Vietnam. Chắc hẳn đây là ngày mà cha mẹ đã mong chờ chữ rồi. mà chúng con bước chân vào dòng và con tin chắc cha mẹ cũng mong ước trong ngày hùng ăn này cha mẹ sẽ hiện diện và chứng kiến giây phút chúng con bước lên bàn thờ và nói đến lời khấn hứa với thiên chúa vâng không ai biết được ý định của thiên chúa bởi vì dịch bệnh niềm mong ước ấy của cha mẹ đã bị dập tắt bao kế hoạch cũng không còn nhưng con tin trong hết mọi sự luôn có bàn tay thiên chúa hoan phòng và gìn giữ vậy nên chúng ta cùng đón nhận tất cả với lòng biết ơn sâu sắc chắc hẳn ngài luôn dành những gì tốt đẹp nhất cho chúng con và trong giây phút này con chỉ muốn bày tỏ lòng tri ân của chị em chúng con với cha mẹ ở nơi quê xa những công lao và hy sinh của cha mẹ thật không thể dùng lời mà kể hết được Cha mẹ đã dạy chúng con cách làm người, dạy chúng con yêu Chúa, yêu tha nhân, 
và đặc biệt cha mẹ đã quảng đại dâng hiến chúng con cho thiên chúa con biết từ ngày chúng con lên đường tu học nơi xứ người đã bao đêm cha mẹ trần trọc lo lắng cho chúng con trên bước đường chúng con đi lo chúng con ăn không quen ở không được và nhiều nỗi lo lắng khác không thể kể hết chúng con thật chỉ biết thì thầm và xin chúa cùng mẹ Maria gìn giữ và bảo vệ cha mẹ trong cuộc sống xin chúa là đấng nhân từ và công minh sẽ bù đắp lại cho cha mẹ những điều mà chúng con đã bỏ lỡ không làm được vì đã đợi gia đình quá sớm bước theo tiếng gọi của ngài chúng con cũng xin gửi lời cảm ơn chân thành đến cô dì chú bác và anh chị em đã cách này cách nào khác giúp đỡ đồng viên chúng con nhưng quý vị ân nhân đã giúp đỡ và luôn cầu nguyện cho chúng con chúng con xin hết lòng tri ân xin chúa trả công xứng đáng cho tất cả một lần nữa chúng con xin quy đầu cảm tạ Please continue to pray for us as we journey in this life, as we start a new journey, the beginning of a new life, full of commitments and sacrifice, and with, for and with the Lord. May the Lord grant all of you good health and abundant blessings in all your days, for all and for everything, our endless times. Before the final verse, I would like to express my congratulations to Sister Han, So and Yip, and Sister G. Congratulations, and I'd like also to congratulate the uh, Sisters of Lake of the Holy Spirit. You now have four precious treasures in your hands. Take good care of them. The Lord be, <laughs> the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Please bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May God, the inspirer of every good resolve, foster your purposes and strengthen your hearts. That what you have promised you may keep with persevering faith. Amen. May he grant you to hasten the joy of Christ along the narrow way you have chosen, rejoicing to bear the burdens of your brothers and sisters. Amen. May the charity of God make you a family brought together in the Lord's name to show forth the image of the love of Christ. Amen. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorify the Lord in your life.
Amen. Amen.